Dear audience, I am starting a new series of computer fundamentals. This would be an informative series. Do watch all the episodes. So today is our first episode or you can say first video in which we will see what a computer is and what are its basic components. Let's go. So now if we say what a computer is in a layman language we would say a device that can compute but what if we have to speak the full definition of the computer in a technical way then we would have said an electromechanical device that can compute it has an electronic circuit and mechanical components example fan now the question comes in our mind is who is the father of computer isn't it Yes, the father of computer is Charles Babbage. He was an English mechanical engineer. He completed first computer known as Difference Engine in 1822. Difference Engine is also known as Differential Engine. It is a type of mechanical calculator. Now we we'll, let's see the different photos or pictures of difference engines. This is a full-fledged difference engine. And now what we are seeing are the parts of this difference engine. This is the difference engine, these are all four. Not four, but these three images or these all images are of one difference engine which was created by Charles Babbage. Now let's go through some of the mechanical calculators. Now what is IQ cycle? It is input, process and output cycle. First comes the input, then the process, and then the output. Yes, so the information that we input in the computer is known as data. It is same as the that we give something to the computer for processing or for giving the result. The data, after we input the data, it goes to the CPU for processing. After processing, we get the information, information or output or result. Now the result is in the form of information. Now let's find out the difference between data and information. Yes, data are the figures which are raw, unprocessed, unstructured, unorganized, random useless without processing yes because it is an input and it comes the data is not something useful till it is not processed and after processing comes the information that is output so what an information is information is processed structured organized and useful figures data is just records or observations information is analysis of records or observations data collected on census forms votes recorded in avian the the census forms and the votes recorded in avian are the examples of data and after processing various types of information can be gathered example total population number of male and female population percentage rise of population over the decade literacy rate rural and urban population and men it's obvious now if we collect the census forms and uh, without processing if we go through the all the pages all the forms we would not be able to find out what is the total population number of male or female population or percentage of rise of population but after it is processed we get information and with that information we can gather 
many type of informations. For example, as you are seeing it, population, total population, number of male and female population, and many more. And as you can see in the below flowchart, it is already saying that data after processing becomes information. That means a raw image or raw or a raw data after processing becomes a useful thing. Now comes the components of computer. First are the input, then output. And in between comes the CPU or central processing unit with a memory. Characteristics of computer speed, billions of calcul calculations in one second. Yes, and it produces the results accurately also. Accuracy. Storage. It has a capable of storing a huge amount of data. Reliable. Reliable results. Here is a popular phrase. Garbage in, garbage out. That is Gigo. Gigo is the reliability constraint of the computer. And versatile. Can perform. Computer can perform simple typing work to play games, movies, songs, or to do more technical work like inventory control, online examination, and animation, etc. Yes, as you can see that nowadays online classes and online examinations has started. Let's see more of the characteristics of computer. Automation. Capable of performing the tasks automatically without the intervention of the user. Diligent. It does not suffer from tiredness or lack of concentration. Computer is so diligent that if it is to do one million calculations, then all the calculations will be done with the same accuracy. This is cost effective, reduces the cost of data storage and data processing. Emotionless and egoless. Computers are emotionless and egoless. Computer just perform its job without having thinking power. Now let's see the input devices. Input devices create a link between user and the computer and this link is very important. Input unit contains devices which help the user to enter data into the computer. And why do we enter data? Obviously for processing and to get information. Your input unit converts the data in computer understandable form. Input devices sends the data input by user to CPU and this is the function of IPO cycle also. For example, we, let's see the examples of input devices. Keyboards, we type the data. Mouse, joystick, light pen. Trackball, scanners, graphics tablet, microphone, magnetic card reader, MICR, barcode reader, optical mark reader, OMR. Now let's see the output devices. Output devices create a link processor and the output device where we get the information. Output unit contains devices with which user gets information. Yes, after the processing of the data in CPU, that is central processing unit, the data is converted into information and is transferred to output devices and output device gives us the information. Output unit converts the data from computer understandable form to user understandable form. In input devices, we saw that input device convert the data in computer understandable form. Why is it done? It is done so that the computer can understand the data in its own form. And when it understands the data, 
Only then it can perform the processing. So after the processing, the data is converted into information, but still the information is in computer understandable form. So how could the user understand it? So output units convert the computer understandable form of the information to user understandable form. Let's see the examples of output devices. These are the LCDs. And these are the monitors which were used long ago. Not long ago, still they are. But not so, they are not so famous. Next come the printer. Plotters. Speakers. Okay guys. Let's mind up. Coming up next, generations of computer. Thanks for much watching. And do watch the next episode, it will be very interesting.